PSA and disclaimer for this video. I don't know the official release date yet for March. However, we are expected to see the first spring summer 2022 drop for Fear of God Essentials this month. I will update the pinned comment and the description box once we have that. What I know for all those that said, Jerry doesn't give us anything different. No, we're getting a lot of different things, like a lot. I don't know if it's all dropping this month, but there's a lot happening. Funny enough, as I was filming, what you'll see, Jerry actually posted on Instagram. Uh, this campaign will have an official lookbook today, technically when you're viewing this, Monday, March 7th. So you'll have an official lookbook, but here are some early leaks for the different items. Again, it's called Stairway to Heaven. So he's really going from Essentials to Eternal, which is a great campaign uh, direction. So can't wait to see more. Let's get into the early leaks. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ. Kicking off a brand new week. It's Monday. Uh, I don't, I don't want to waste any time. Let's just run down a laundry list of things that are set to come out for fear of god essentials uh spring uh summer 2022 there's a lot and we already kind of touched on the early leaks that we saw but we have a lot more uh, context now we have visibility to a lot more so shout out to fear underscore of underscore god underscore leaks be sure to follow them that information is below uh to see just a snippet of everything that we expect to come out now again we don't know if it will all come out in this one drop in march it could come down a little later on sometimes these drops are split into part one and part two what i know is the kids they get an extensive collection um as do the adults so okay so let's just run down the actual page for fear of god leaks i, I believe this gives us the best idea or context of what's coming out so we'll just start you get basic tees we're gonna get the tees that will come back in the three different colorways whites right so iron essentially black sea foam and then you have wheat which that wheat looks to be like a super light sand it's it's i think of like a super light beige almost kind of what it reminds me of but not beige in the sense of essence which was kind of like a tan but like a more of a true beige i guess we're an off-white but we're gonna get the basic t-shirts back with the smaller print which i appreciate um we also see here more of like that coaches style jacket with three uh, it looks to be i wonder if it would be 3m on the back I want to go out on a limb and say that's gonna that's gonna pop with 3m on the back we'll see one of the items i'm very interested in the fear of god hoodie uh it'll have essentials in the middle of the chest and the bottom is not like a traditional bottom of a hoodie so i am very interested in that just for a different feel um looks looks like we'll get those in all three colors so iron sea foam and wheat i really want that in the sea foam colorway we're gonna get the sweat shorts back in all three of those colors, but then also uh, we get a brand new look and I wanna scroll, let me see. We get a brand new look at the pants. So look to be, we'll have, looks to be we'll have traditional sweats that will have essentials on the side, but they don't cuff at the bottom for adult sizing. They don't cuff at the bottom, so just be mindful of that. The kids' pairs will cuff. We have a brand new pair of nylon pants um, that I'm looking at here. So you have a much thicker waistband. You have the essential silicone uh, branding on the front. And then again, open him at the bottom. It does not cinch whatsoever. Um, we have the larger branded 1990 70 print shirt. So you have that on short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, but also on the shorts. So I am interested in a pair of 1977 shorts, maybe in the wheat colorway, just something I can easily throw on. Uh, 1977 branding will show up on the crew necks as well, which I'm sure that'll be something a lot of people go after. Uh, the major item teased at uh, Fashion Week by Jerry worn on, I guess, essentially the walk up to the runway. Yeah. Teased by Jerry, the 1977 pants. Very excited for those. I could see myself wearing those a lot. So 
you uh you see him in those i'm assuming we're gonna get all three colors you have their traditional hoodies that will have 1977 on the front again i prefer the hoodie that will just have essentials in the middle with the open hem now when you get into the kids uh kids options they're getting a lot okay so they have a baseball jersey they have this puffer jacket um, which I actually have a puffer jacket on the way from the Richie Lee collection. So shout out to Richie and the team. Uh, the kids will also get a two-toned essentials hoodie. Uh, I prefer that for the kids. I actually would just prefer something more monotone. That's just my personal preference. The kids will also get a muscle sweatshirt. So think of a sweatshirt, literally like in a muscle style tank cut off with 77 on it. They also get a crew neck, which looks to have like a pretty thicker collar. They have a big e knit polo top i think the bigger e items suits a child better at least to me than it would like an adult so i'm really glad that the big bigger e items are are reserved for kids so they'll also have a knit hoodie with the larger e on the front and then their branding and print will be larger on the traditional hoodies um you can see that on the front as well but they also get some 1977 options the mock necks, I've never personally been a fan of the mock necks, but those are available for kids. They also get a long sleeve polo with the larger print and the oversized Henley, which I feel a lot of adults will also want. So ladies, if you're able to fit like a kid's extra large, I don't have any of the kids items, so I can't tell you what sizing is on that. But if you can fit into the kids items and you really want that oversized Henley, by all means, go for it. They have the larger big E on the shirt. They have a football jersey. They have a waffle with a bigger print e a baseball style jersey with essentials on the front the traditional tee and then they also get like a mock neck waffle and they move into some base layers um now the kids again their pants look to be cinched at the bottom so like traditional sweats that we're used to that's not what adults will get at least that's not what i've seen when we move into brand new items women it looks like we're getting real women's items like before pack sun would label things as men's and women's and there really was no difference no it looks like these are actually meant for women so for the women's we have the boy scout shirt um and iron and wheat so it just looks like a traditional style baseball shirt uh so we'll see i am interested in that I actually went by hollister this past weekend and saw something very similar to that uh within their men's section so for women's they also show a half zip pullover in all three colorways um but doesn't look to really have a whole lot of branding on it so minimal branding perhaps you have relaxed trousers which just means again it has that thicker waistband but nothing else uh, the item again i'm really interested in the relaxed hoodie so that does show that that's in men's not a fan of mock necks again so i'll just go past that uh relax sweats again you have the traditional branding essentials but you also have 1977 present the storm jacket <laughs> i don't have a need for a storm jacket but a storm jacket is pictured here in iron and in sea foam you have a quilted jacket which we're kind of moving again away from cooler weather but you have a quilted jacket uh the coach's jacket which is really nice uh i don't I don't think I'm going to pick that up. Uh, it's not on my radar to pick up, but you have a coach's jacket. You have, again, something very new, the three quarter sleeve mock neck. So we have not seen anything like that before. That's brand new up a long cardigan, like a long zippered cardigan. I feel like you could really finesse this men i'm i'm interested to see what fits you guys come up with but i feel like you can really finesse that uh you have a cardigan new we have not seen that before a true cable knit turtleneck not seen that either so you guys wanted something different we're getting very different items velour mock neck again this specific item is not on my list i kind of have a list of what i want but i'm glad to see that he's branching out and doing a lot of different things uh just for my style i think i prefer things that are more knit versus velour that's just a personal preference um the raw edge sweater that is not my style just based on the neck itself but you have a raw edge sweater as an option you have the rugby style shirt the essentials football tee which is probably going to be quite boxy with 77 on the front you have storm pants so that will complement the jacket quite well or at least i assume in my mind it'll complement the jacket well you have velour pants that will also um complement what we saw and we have a long sleeve knit polo so if you are into the knit pieces 
and the long sleeve polos. He's pretty much put those both together. This men's three quarter sleeve hoodie. I want to see what this looks like. I really do because it looks to be really elongated. So uh, the sleeves don't look all that sh much shorter, but th okay, they really are shorter. So I'm not going to knock that they're shorter. I believe that they will be. And then we move back to some of the more traditional pieces. Uh, the short sleeve raglan crew neck, though, that's something new. We have not seen that before. So there are a lot of newer pieces. Uh, again, please be sure that you check out the page because otherwise you may not know there's a women's fleece skirt on the way. I don't have intentions of picking that up, but this is probably going to serve the style of quite a few women. So ladies, if you are interested in this, here you go. You have a fleece skirt. I imagine there will be quite a few creators, especially women that will show that uh, on, the, on their channels to you uh, because I just simply don't have intention of integrating that into my style. I probably won't have that to show for you guys, but you have a skirt, you have a women's t-shirt dress that can be extremely versatile. It's just not on my personal radar, at least for this drop in March. What is on my radar now, though, is this women's sport tank that will come in iron, wheat, and sea foam. And then we close out with just another shirt. So there's a lot of new things available for either kids or a whole true women's line and then the men's pieces too. So please be sure, again, I would just go ahead and make sure you are tuned in to Fear of God Leaks to stay up to date on pricing changes. Again, when the official date announcement is made, I will do my best to get that out for you guys here on the channel. I'll update it, but uh, set a budget for things you want. What traditionally happens, the drop will occur on Fear of God on a Wednesday and other retailers globally on a Friday. Uh, if you are able, at least this is what I do sometimes, if you're able to secure it on that Wednesday, it kind of gives you peace of mind to then go after whatever you want to go after. I usually shop on Essence on that Friday, but you also have Nordstrom depending on where you are located. And I steer clear of PacSun just personally, but you have Nordstrom, you have Essence, you have Mr. Porter as probably an option. Uh, I'm not sure if unknown will have any of the essentials, but there are options out there. Again, I'll keep you updated as I learn more. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.